every single woman who has elderly parents, and women are the primary caregivers for elderly parents in this country as well, every single woman who just wants a little bit more of a life to connect with her community, to be involved in her charity, to run a marathon, wants a little bit more control of her life. And this, was, this is what we found when we were looking into the research for the book, that the companies that realize this, the companies that allow us more flexibility, and accountancy from the very beginning was in the forefront of this, realized the need for women to work differently. Those are the companies that are having better success with retention on the whole. That actually women, if you give them the opportunity to work the way they want to work, if you measure our output, not just our input, we are phenomenally diligent. We are very hardworking. I still say there is nobody more diligent and effective than a new mother. We, get, we are lean, mean working machines. We get into the office. We do what we need to do. We don't hang around the water cooler. We have no time for egos around the meeting room table. We need to get the job done so we can get back out again. And companies that recognize that and say, okay, we will give you the control, find that productivity increases by an average of 40%. Because all we want is to be treated like adults. Listen. I am going to go and see my daughter's school play whether my boss allows me to or not. But if I have to sneak out the back door, go off feeling bad, I'm probably going to feel guilty, resentful. I'm not going to like my boss very much. I'm not going to feel inspired to work harder for them. On the other hand, if my company says to me, you know what, fine. We're measuring how you perform. We're not measuring how many hours you're sitting in the cubicle. I will suddenly feel grateful. I will like my boss, I will like my company, and guess what, I'll probably work more effectively and harder for them. We just want to be treated like adults. I think this idea, in a way, it's not really part-time, full-time, flex-time. It, that seems to me a little bit old-fashioned. It's about having control, and it's about measuring output. The companies that measure output rather than input are the companies that are getting the best out of their employees. Because I don't, honestly, I'm not sitting at home eating Cheerios and watching videos. I'm working when I'm at home. I just need sometimes that little bit of control. And as Deloitte found when it initiated, was one of the first major companies to initiate a flexible work program, actually only about 10% of people in a company at any one time are needing significant degrees of flexibility. And it's not forever. I think for women, the idea of a career that looks like a ladder can sometimes be a scary prospect. It certainly was for me when I was in my 30s and had young children. The idea that I had relentlessly had to keep climbing up the next rung of the ladder or else I didn't know what was going to happen. The earth was going to swallow me whole or something. And actually, we came up with an idea that maybe for women, the better idea is a career that goes in waves, that looks something like that. There are times in your career when you dial up. There are times in your career when you dial back, and then maybe you dial up again. 